Hello everyone, welcome back to the Holistic Homemaker channel. My name is Jenna. If you are new here in this space, we knit things, we sew things, we bake things, we do mom things, we do lots of things from scratch. And yes, there is a blow up teddy bear behind me and music notes and bows and all kinds of things everywhere <laughs> because we did just have my son's second birthday party yesterday. It was a blast. We dressed up like the Wiggles. It was so much fun and there is just so much chaos everywhere. I really like went all out because I, I love the Wiggles. Don't love the new Wiggles with like the 45 of them, but we love the Emma, Lockie, Simon, Anthony quad and the OGs. And so that's who we were. Jack is madly in love with Emma, loves Emma Memma as well, loves her in all her phases of life. He was Emma. Cameron was Simon. I was Lockie. I'm Lockie again today. My purple represent Lockie. Um, and I was a half and half. I had curly pigtails and a big black bow. I was half Emma, half Lockie for Jack. And he loved it. He was telling everybody about my pigtails. Like he was just so proud that Emma was his mom yesterday. And it was just so cute. Like, okay, we listen to a lot of Wiggles. Let me tell you how much Wiggles we listen to. We don't, we watch more Wiggles than we used to, but Jack's always been listening to the Wiggles. And I was in the top 0.05% of listeners in my Spotify rap. It was like 10,000 minutes. It was a lot of Wiggles, okay? I wanted to do something fun and make it memorable for Jack as well. And he lost his freaking mind yesterday. It was so awesome because last year i went all out for his first birthday and i knew it wouldn't be something that would be super memorable for him because he was turning one i went all out this year because i know that he will remember and talk about it a little bit longer you know he's starting to i mean his brain is just big kids got a big brain but um so yeah i wanted to really go out this year and we've got the rockabies got bears and I cut out bows and I cut out wags bones and polka dots and music notes and streamers are literally like coming out of my ears. They're everywhere. And that's what we've been up to this year so far. <laughs> Just prepping for this birthday party. But that's not what we're doing in this video today. So today we're going to be doing a really fun little sewing project. So this year I really wanted to, my thing was to make not just foods and stuff from scratch, but I wanted to really start working towards like home things from scratch. And one thing that one I'm running out of, and it's a huge inconvenience for me to buy it because I always forget them, is, what are they called? They're like cotton balls, but they're like the little pouch patches. Cotton, they're not swabs. That's the same thing as a cotton ball, I feel. We're gonna make little makeup remover pads. I don't use them for makeup remover. I use them for my witch hazel because witch hazels become like the only thing I do for my skincare these days. And um, I'm running low on them. I think they're super inconvenient. So what we're gonna be doing to become a little bit more low waste is we're gonna make our own. And I have been looking at patterns for them and everything seems to be kind of the same where you get a towel and you get a fabric that you like, cut it into a shape that you like, sew them together, flip it inside out, do a top stitch. Seems easy. So today is a sewing project and and it's also going to be a slash declutter vibe. So Jack starts school this week and this house, so he just had his birthday as I've said, and it's just like so packed with stuff right now that I feel like I'm gonna start twitching. So we're gonna be cleaning and sewing. And I think that that's it. <laughs> first things first, I'm gonna be taking down these decorations because I've already filmed it. It looks amazing. I'm so proud of myself. It looks great. I need it gone. So let's get decluttering in that area. Okay, so the living room is semi back to normal which I vastly appreciate I have one more thing to build over here and then I set aside a little craft thing that he got for his birthday for when he wakes up from his nap so that'll be fun to do and then I was actually able to declutter 
the kitchen. I got rid of a lot of Jack's old baby plates and bowls and silverware and stuff. He got these really cute like big boy plates for his birthday. So um, kind of weeding through baby stuff right now and counters. I went through my clothes a couple of weeks ago and just found a couple of things. I'm probably going to go through it again. And my next big project for today when he wakes up it's probably gonna be going through his clothes. We do donate um, the bulk, actually all of his clothes and shoes and socks and all of his stuff as he grows and phases out. We don't keep very much of it. We keep like the sentimental outfits, but um, we donated that all to a foster care uh, about an hour away. So there's like a little meeting place and we do drop offs pretty frequently. So I'm gonna go through his clothes cause he's got a lot of belly shirts now. <laughs> I'm gonna go through his clothes and set those aside. I set all the other stuff in the garage already and then we're just gonna slowly start going through different spaces. Uh, this feels a million times better. He's getting really big stuff now. Like he has that giant monster truck in the middle of the room. That will go in the garage, but right now it's freezing outside and I'm wearing this. So I'm not gonna go out there right now. So yeah, he can ride around that for the day in here. And then once it starts to warm up, that thing is gonna live outside. So I'm super stoked about that thing. He loves it so much. Right now I'm gonna get some food cooking for him for whenever he wakes up and just sort of get things moving and grooving. Oh my gosh, those are hard to open. Mommy's got muscles. Here you go. You wanna get your brush a little bit wet or no? Isn't that so fun? That's beautiful, baby. Wow. Wow. This is so pretty. <laughs> oh, buddy. That is fancy. <gasps> it's so fun. <laughs> you scooped it up. <laughs> really a lot. Really a lot. Wow. Bots, that's a good idea. And up here, too. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna hold it. You got it. This is so fun. <laughs> Look Keep going. Okay, so there is quite literally a mountain of stuff behind me. There's also a pile over here. There's a pile over there on the other side of the couch. There's also a pile in the garage. <clears throat> now I, I declutter frequently and you would think that I have never gone through anything in this house the way that we declutter today. Camera got the day off, which worked out great. Um, Jack was supposed to start school today, but there's a really bad storm coming in, so they canceled it. So, of course, <clears throat> his first day of school, all of my stress and anxiety, Cameron taking the day off for this big day, and then everybody's home. But it ended up working out because we went through every single room. I didn't film us going through every single room, obviously, but Jack was a huge helper. He went through a ton of his stuff saying he wanted give it to other kids, give it to other kids. And I was like, okay, great. So we got rid of a lot of his baby stuff, a lot of his clothes. Um, we, he just had a ton of like stuffed animals and stuff like that that he's never even really touched. And going through this closet right here, there were things that were still wrapped up from when we moved two years ago. So this was a huge triumph declutter today. I'm like really happy about it and also very curious if it's all going to fit in my trunk so it might be a trash bag kind of hole but there's like things like this that need to just get put away like my baby carrier he does not fit in this anymore so this just needs to get put away with baby stuff and just things that have been taking up space that aren't useful right now or anymore so um yeah this was this was i just keep looking around because now everything's like super trashed 
<laughs> even though I just cleaned it. Everything is now super trash because it all needs to get put into my car. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then tomorrow morning, the trees are like this outside. Um, tomorrow morning, I will run out to the foster care donation hub and then probably just to a Goodwill because it's all, we, really, we don't really have many thrift stores around here. So Goodwill is kind of like our thrift store. So I'm gonna go and do that tomorrow and get it all taken care of and out of our space. This is so exciting. I love declutter days, but this one was a little bit eye-opening just because I'm like, where did all this stuff come from? <laughs> Okay, so first things first with this project is I desperately need to iron my fabric because it looks like, well, because it looks like this. So I'm gonna iron it real quick and get it ready. My top stitch, I'm gonna use a black thread and I have, somewhere, I have my towel. So you just take an old towel, one that's not like gross, but just one that you've had. I don't mind cutting up. Um, I might double pad mine. This is a pretty thick towel though, now that I'm looking at it. I don't know, maybe I'll double pack one and see how it feels. Cause I'll use this to like wash my face and stuff, not just do my witch hazel or makeup remover or whatever you want to use it for. But I might want to actually like, scrub my face now that I'm thinking about it. But I think that I'm going to use this towel with this really beautiful fabric on top. And that's just been sitting in my stash for quite a while. It's a nice dark gray with some gold sparklies. And yeah, so I'm gonna start ironing, get it going. I do still have, my bobbin is full of red thread from my uh, holiday pants. And I only have one bobbin for my machine. So <laughs> my bottom stitch is gonna be red until that's empty. But my top stitch is gonna be black. I think that'll look pretty pretty nice nice little like pop a black stitch on this nice and this nice gray and gold so yeah I need to start ironing before this baby wakes up about eight out of 14 failed attempts. Are you even moving? I finally texted my mom and I said, this is stupid. Why, why does my machine keep jamming? I was like, this is dumb. This isn't supposed to be as hard. I must be doing something wrong. Like this is supposed to be a simple project according to everyone. And she was like, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just the fabric. It's just the material. So she so graciously reminded me that I have something I'm a little more comfortable with than fabric. I have Scrubology cotton. So what I'm going to do, uh, which is hilarious that she remembered this and it's just been sitting in my stash. Well, one of my goals this year is to clear my stash. So I'm going to use, I have two different shades upstairs. One is more like sunset-y with oranges and yellows and blues and pinks. And this one right here is blues and yellows and whites, which I think will be a little bit calmer. It's still a little bit loud for what I wanted, but um, 
I think this will work. It has a little bit of gray in there too. It's a little bit more colorful than what I wanted. It doesn't really match anything, but oh well, it's what I have. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this with uh, US size nine needles and I'm just gonna make little squares and pump out as many as I can before I have to go pick up Jack from school. Um, he started school today and I'll show you a picture of how awesome he is and then a picture of how I handled it. <laughs> I, got, I came home, I took a shower, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, so I have my little square, but what I think I'm gonna do is double it and then fold them and stitch them together so it's a bit thicker because it is a little bit gapy, which is not what I want. And I know that's my needle size, but I did do the needle suggestion for this yarn, which is a size nine. I should probably be done like a seven to make it a bit tighter, but that's okay. I think I'm going to just keep going and make a big rectangle and then close it shut. That should work. Hello, hello everyone. So yesterday I was able to knit up two of these double padded cotton makeup remover wipey thingies. And they actually turned out super cute. Let me see if it'll focus. So these ones, I just did a giant square I folded it in half. It seems really nice and super, super cushy. This one turned out really cute too. It's got a little bit more of the grays and blues. And then last night, so I was able to get two of them done in about an hour and a half, just because the material is really tangly. But last night I was able to make a big washcloth too. So these turned out really cute. I've made the washcloths before, but I gave them to my mom because she was, she was the one that found this material and really liked it and picked out the color she wanted and then da 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 da. So I picked out this one, um, but I made these before and she says that she really likes them, which is why she suggested them when I was struggling so hard with my machine and the towel mixture. I'm really glad that I had this material. I got it at Hobby Lobby and it was like, I think $3 a skein. It wasn't anything crazy, but I'm really stoked to have these and I have not, I'm having like a weird bang day. I'm, I'm going to, I haven't used them yet, but I have washed them and they washed really nicely. So I'm going to just use them with the side <laughs> with me next to you. And just, I'm just gonna use my witch hazel and just see if I like it and give you a real reaction on how it is. I haven't used the washcloth for any kind of scrubby thing yet either, but I feel like it's gonna scrub up like really, really nicely. Oh, that's actually really nice. It didn't leak through at all. Jack do that. Jack's gonna do that? Mm -hmm. Hi, baby bear. Do you want one? Mm -hmm. You wipe your face with that one. Oh, here, I'll put a little bit. Put, uh, okay. There you go. Are you gonna wipe your face too? Do you like it? Ooh. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Okay, so upon using it with just my witch hazel, this is great because it does have that little exfoliating factor on it, which I always love and I'm looking for. I love square. You love the square? Yeah. And it doesn't get like soaked, soaked. Nothing went through it like I thought it was going to. This is great. What an amazing alternative to my failed project. First failed project of the year and first success of the year. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna to try to make these on your own, it was super easy. I can put the pattern down below. And yeah, just start making 
tiny little shifts to low waste, more sustainable living. This should last me a really long time and I'm really excited about saving the money with things I already had. I only have two of these, but I am gonna just use the whole skein because I use them every day. And now these can be a great little part of my routine and I'm super excited about it. So if you liked this little journey, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. This channel is growing and I'm so excited and grateful every single day. So if you are still bye. around in this video, <laughs> I say bye. Thank you so much for joining me today bye. and we will see you all in the next one. You wanna say bye? Bye. <laughs> I love you. Oh. I love you. I love you too, baby. Bye.